In this video we are going to look into method chaining. So by now we should be already familiar with JavaScript objects, its members, methods and so on. So let us see what exactly is this method chaining. So two things first. The first thing is that a method is only accessible from an object. So we should be able to understand that an object can have members and the members could be either properties or methods. So if you would like to access any method or execute a method, it has to be possible only from an object. That's the first thing we should always remember. The second thing is that a method can return an object. So a method can or may or may not return an object. So in this case, a method can return an object. That is very much important to understand. A method not only can accept parameters, but it can return values or even objects. Now, what exactly is chaining? So, imagine I have a particular construction constructor function like this. So, constructor function is very similar to a class. So, in this case, EMP is a class which is having a method called increment salary. So this is a method which is essentially returning the current object. So this is important. So this method accepts some value as a parameter, does some process here, and it returns the current object. So return this. This stands for the current object. So when, when you instantiate EMP, it could become something like OEMP. So OEMP could be a variable which essentially contains the entire physical instance of this particular EMP function or say constructor function or say class. So imagine I could write something like variable OEMP equal to new EMP and I can have all those values to be passed in but that, and that statement essentially could give us a particular instance of this particular EMP class called as OEMP. And now I would like to access this particular member or say method in this case. So I would like to execute this mem method directly from this particular object called OEMP. So OEMP dot that method and as it is accepting a particular parameter I just wanted to send in some value like 500. So till here OEMP dot increment salary of 500. So whenever this part is getting executed, this particular function gets executed. And once this function gets executed, we are actually returning the current object. So which means this method is being executed by this object called OEMP. And we are saying that return the same object. So which means whenever you say OEMP dot particular that method, that method is going to return the same object no matter what. So as we are having the same object called OEMP, we can further access more members or the same method once again and again and again. So in this case, this whole thing is converted to OEMP as because this particular function is returning the same instance. So the, just consider replace this whole thing with OEMP. So again we are saying OEMP dot increment salary. Why? Because increment salary is still the same method available in the same object which is being returned by the previous execution call. So in that way we can have that particular method, so the method increment salary, returning the same instance. And once you return the same instance, we can further access the members of the same instance over and over again. So that is called method chaining, which means we access methods in a chained manner and to the any infinite level as long as that particular function or method returns the same instance over and over again. So let us uh, see a demonstration on this. So let me go through this. So in this case, let me create a new file. So I would like to call this one as 09. And let me start with the script. Oh, okay. So let me declare a particular constru constructor function something like function v emp number v name and v salary so this is a constructor function which is having or accepting three 
parameters. So I would like to have three members like this dot employee number to be initialized with EMP envo and again this dot ename to be initialized with whatever the ename I'm going to send as part of the parameter and similarly another member called this dot salary and now I'm going to declare another method called increment salary and this is going to be a function so I would like to have the function definition to be brought forward and this is going to accept a particular parameter in the form of variable increment whatever you would like to provide there so all this particular function does is just increase the salary by whatever the amount we provide so this is just a simple way of incrementing salary in this case so just wanted to explain the context and the concept here so the main concept here is in order to chain the methods this particular method in this case has to return some kind of object if it doesn't return anything we cannot do dot so dot can be done if and only if we have a particular object so object dot member is the notation so if this particular function returns an object which is nothing but this in this case then whenever I access this method I can say execute this method in turn you get the object and use that object dot whatever the member you would like to access so now I am going to declare an object or create an instance of that particular constructor function by providing whatever the values I would like to provide here so in this case I would like to say jack and then 4500 and something like that now I can say OEMP dot increment salary which should be something like 500 so let us do what it does so in this case if I say alert OEMP dot salary so at this moment it has to give me 4500 but after increasing the salary again if I use this same statement here that is supposed to be returning 5000 so here in this case it is 4500 incrementing by 500 returns 5000 so let us see if this is working fine for a second and make sure that we are not using method chaining yet so I do this and now you can see the first one which is 4500 click OK and now you can see I got 5000 so it is doing the way it has to do now let us consider I wanted to do something like this so you can still do this so which means I'm having this entire part to be stored inside a particular object if necessary so for example if I can say variable O equal to something like this that is still possible so what I'm saying is this is a function which is returning an instance of the current object which is nothing but OEMP so what I'm saying is whenever I execute this function return the same instance OEMP and assign that to O now I can say O dot increment salary 500 more so what I'm saying is I have 4500 4, here increment by 500 return the same object and using the same object increase 500 more so essentially you are adding 1000 to existing 4500 and it should return 5500 right now so let us check if that is the case so I have the first one as 4500 and immediately I have 5500 so all I'm doing right now is instead of using O I just wanted to replace this O with this guy directly so in that way I can use a syntactical reference called method chaining so which means you are using a method in order to access another method and further proceed with more and more methods if necessary for that matter I can even say dot salary here so which means I would like to get the value of the salary after increasing uh, after incrementing 
twice or thrice in this case. So in this case I have twice only. So even now it has to give the value it is supposed to. So go in here. The first value is 4500 and the next value is 5500. And similarly if you would like to do further I can use the same thing in any number of ways and increase for any number of times. So as long as that particular method is returning some instance you will be able to have access to any of those members to whatever the object it is returning. So in this case I am incrementing by 1500 for 4500 so it's supposed to become 6000. So let me execute it again. So 4500 becomes 6000. So in that way you can have multiple methods not necessarily be the same method. You can have multiple other methods where all of those methods as long as they return the same instance they can be chained together to any infinite level.